Hello and welcome to Jury Service. Kia ora and welcome to potentially serving as a juror in the High Court of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Jury Service is an opportunity for members of the public to be involved in the administration of justice, ensuring public participation in the rule of law. Jury trials in the High Court involve allegations of serious offending. Our New Zealand Bill of Rights Act provides that everyone charged with such offending has the right to a trial by jury. On behalf of my fellow judges, I extend our gratitude to those of you who have answered a summons for jury service. We appreciate that jury service will take you away from your everyday lives and involves a significant commitment. Those of you selected will, I hope, find it a valuable experience. Your participation and cooperation is vital to our criminal justice system. Ma te wa. Kia ora and welcome to jury service. You're one of 300,000 New Zealanders giving their time for jury service each year. If you were selected, you may be one of the 12 people who make up a jury. Jurors listen carefully to all the evidence, decide on the facts of a case, and whether those accused of the crime are guilty or not. The length of jury trials varies. Your jury summons will indicate how long you are required to come to court for jury service. Once selected, you'll serve as long as the trial lasts. You'll be given further information by the judge at court about how long the trial is expected to take. So, what should you expect from jury service? Who's who in the courtroom? And how does a jury trial work? Before you arrive at court, there's a few things to remember. Please be on time each day you're needed. Bring something to do while you wait. Jury service can involve some waiting to bring something like a book to read or a laptop to do some work remotely. Some courts have Wi-Fi, just ask court staff about this. Also, don't forget to bring any medications you normally take during the day. You may also like to pack a snack. You're allowed to bring your cell phone and laptop into the court building. You may use these while you're waiting, but in the courtroom, cell phones and laptops must be switched off. Once through security, you'll be gathered with everyone else who's been summoned in a jury assembly room like this one. Hello everyone, and thanks for coming along to court today. My name is Helena. I'm going to explain what you can expect at court in any health and safety matters. I will also explain how to claim jury expenses, but more information on that is available on the Ministry of Justice website. The first stage of jury selection is when a member of court staff randomly draws the names of potential jurors from a ballot box. If your name is called, you'll be asked to go into a courtroom. If your name isn't called, you might be asked to wait until the jury is confirmed. To attend a second pre-trial ballot later in the day or later in the week, or you might be officially discharged from jury service and told that you are free to go. If you are asked to come back, you'll need to check the Ministry of Justice website or call the jury answer phone to find out when. If your name is called out in a pre-trial ballot, you'll be escorted to a courtroom and be asked to sit in the public gallery. The final 12 jurors are chosen from this group and sworn in. Most of the people involved in the case will already be in the courtroom. You'll be asked to stand as the judge enters. I'll silence or stand for her honour the judge. The judge is in charge of the trial. My role is to explain the trial to you and make sure the trial is fair and that everyone follows the rules of the court. I'll also explain your role as a juror, tell you how the law applies and help you understand the evidence presented to you in court. The defendant or defendants are then brought to the dock by court security officers who will sit with the defendant during the trial. This is standard court procedure, so don't make any assumptions about the defendant based on the presence of these officers. The court registrar then reads out the charges the defendant faces, and lawyers for the prosecution, also known as the Crown, and the defence introduce themselves to the judge. May it please your honour. I'm here to represent the Crown. I'll present evidence to the jury to support our case. May it please Your Honour. 
I'm here to represent the defendant. That's the person accused of committing the crime and to question the evidence presented by the prosecutor. Defendants sometimes choose not to have a lawyer and instead represent themselves throughout the trial. The judge may help and guide them at points to ensure the rules of the court are met. Either the prosecutor or court staff will read a list of the witnesses who will be appearing in court. Let's see who else might be in court. You may see a police officer or detective who's been part of the investigation, and there could be interpreters or translators supporting the defendant or witnesses whose first language isn't English. Media are entitled to be in court and may be present. Journalists are not allowed to speak to you or identify you when you're serving on a jury, and you're not allowed to speak to any media. If you feel pressured by the media or are concerned about being approached, speak to court staff. Usually, members of the public can watch the case from the public gallery. The court registrar will begin the jury ballot. This is where you discover whether you're on the jury or not. Members of the jury, Please answer when your name is called and come forward to take your place in the jury box. Thomas Smith. If your name is called out, you'll be asked to walk to the jury box. If at this point you feel that you can't be on the jury, maybe because English isn't your first language, or because you know someone involved with the case, or you don't feel that you could be fair and impartial, now's the time to let court staff know that you have an issue and you should ask to speak to the judge. If while you're walking to the jury box or before you sit down, either one of the lawyers says, Challenge. You are not needed for the case and will be asked to return to the public gallery. Please wait for further instructions from the judge or court registrar. If you're challenged, don't take it personally. It's a standard part of the jury trial process and isn't a reflection on you. Lawyers have the right to seek a balance and cross-section of people, and the challenge is sometimes used to do this. If you're not challenged, you can take your seat in the jury box and wait to be sworn in. You need to promise to do your best to be fair and open-minded, either by swearing an oath or making an affirmation to promise. Members of the jury, you are now required to swear an oath for solemnly, sincerely and truly declare and affirm that you will try this case to the best of your ability and that you will not undertake your own inquiries but will give your verdict according to the evidence presented in court. When your turn comes, reply, I do. In most trials, the first important duty for a jury is to choose a full person. You will go to the jury deliberation room to make this decision. The full person leads jury discussions, oversees the voting process, delivers jury communications and announces the verdict. There are no rules on how you choose your full person. It's entirely up to you. As a juror, there are some important rules you must follow. Don't talk about the trial to anyone who's not on the jury. This includes family, friends, the media, lawyers and witnesses. Don't investigate or do any research about the case. Googling or asking about it on social media puts the defendant's right to a fair trial at risk. The judge may have to discharge the jury and abandon the trial. Don't post anything on any social media platform about the trial while in progress or after it's ended. This can put you at risk of being identified as a juror and you may face a penalty from the court. Finally, don't discuss the case with other jurors unless you're all assembled in the jury room together. The members of the jury are given a copy of the charge list and the defendant is asked to plead to each charge. Your task is to decide whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty. Listen to the evidence and give your verdict solely based on that evidence. Keep an open mind throughout the trial. Don't decide until after the judge sums up the case and you retire as a jury to consider your verdict. Pen and paper will be provided, so you can take notes if you need to. As a jury, you may be allowed to ask questions. You can write your questions down and pass it to the full person to give to the judge. The judge will choose whether to ask the question. 
And remember, tell court staff straight away if you've heard or read something about the case outside the courtroom that might stop you from being fair and having an open mind. Or if you know someone connected to the case, like a witness, the defendant, or a friend of the defendant. At the beginning of the trial, the judge explains the trial process. Then the prosecutor will open the case and will tell you what the defendant has been charged with. They'll explain the evidence they'll provide to try and prove the defendant is guilty. Then they'll call witnesses to give evidence to support the prosecution's case. After the prosecution has presented all their evidence, the defence may or may not present evidence. In New Zealand, a defendant is presumed innocent until proven otherwise. Defendants don't have to provide evidence or call witnesses to defend themselves in court. It's up to the prosecution to try and prove the defendant's guilt beyond reasonable doubt. Once all the witnesses have given evidence and been questioned, the lawyers will summarise the case before the judge gives a summary of the trial and evidence and explains how the law applies. You must accept everything the judge says about the law, but it's up to you as a juror to decide on the facts of the case. With the evidence you've seen and heard in the trial, it's your time to go to the jury room to discuss the case and the evidence presented in court and decide if the defendant is guilty or not guilty. The jury room is a working room and only you are allowed to use it. Cell phones and laptops are not permitted in the jury room. You will be asked to give these items to court staff before going into the jury room to deliberate your verdict. It's the full person's job to announce the jury's verdict in court. You will not be asked to give reasons or answer any questions about the verdict or what happened in the jury room. Will the full person please stand? The jury full person will announce the verdict and if the defendant is found not guilty, they are free to go. If the defendant is found guilty, they will appear in court at a later date to be sentenced. You won't be involved in the sentencing, that's the judge's role, but you have a right to attend the sentencing and as a juror, you can be advised by the court what sentence was imposed. Thank you for your service, you are dismissed. Some court cases can be distressing. Court staff or the court registrar will let you know about counselling services that are available to you. More information is also available on the Ministry of Justice website. You may also have concerns about your safety at court. Court security staff are on hand at all times and will ensure you leave the court safely at the end of the trial. If someone tries to influence you about the case or intimidate you while you're serving on a jury, tell court staff straight away. So now you have an idea of what to expect from jury service you know who's who in the courtroom, and you have a good idea how a jury trial works. Thank you for your service.